book of Isaiah 59. And um, it just allow me to read uh, starting from verse 1. From verse 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your finger with fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue has muttered perverseness. None calleth for justice, nor any pleaded for, fru for truth. They trust in vanity and speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. They hatch cock catrice eggs and weave the spider's web. He that eateth of their eggs dieth, and that which is crushed breaketh out into a viper. Their webs shall not become garments, neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of iniquity, and the acts of violence is in their hands. Their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Wasting and destruction are in their parts. The way of peace they know not, and there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked parts. Whosoever goeth therein shall know not shall not know their peace. It is from let me start from verse 18. According to what they have done, so will he repay wrath to his enemies and retribution to his fools, and he will repay the islands they are due. From the worst men will fear the name of the Lord, and from the rising of the sun they will reveal his glory for he will come like a punt up flood that the breath of the Lord drives along the Redeemer will come to Zion to those in Jacob who repent of their sins declares the Lord as for me this is my covenant with them says the Lord my spirit is on you and my words that I have put in your mouth will not depart from the mouth or from the mouths of their of their children or from the mouths of their descendants from the time on and forever says the Lord Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, we bless you, Ma. We thank you, Jesus, for bringing us all together, Lord God, to teach us the word. We thank you for the word, the spiritual word that has already been prepared for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, Spirit of the living God, we pray that you be more as we become less in Jesus' name. We pray that you take your position, the position of leadership, and take us to the will of God in Jesus name as we covenant with the will of God as we covenant with the plan of God in Jesus name and we pray Father Lord God that your blood to cover us in Jesus name let your voice of the blood be heard in the mighty name of Jesus in our favor in Jesus name Lord God we silence every plan of the enemy with the powerful blood of the Lamb because we 
overcome by the powerful blood of the Lamb. In Jesus' name, Lord God, we pray. And we are covenanting with your angels that they cover this place in Jesus' name and do the assignment that they have received from the throne of God. In Jesus' name, Lord God, we pray. And those who believe, say amen and amen we thank the lord amen hallelujah can we give the lord a mighty hand can we give the lord a mighty i believe that we can do better than that amen hallelujah he's an awesome god amen he's god who protects us amen you are here because the lord was protecting you it's because he had an appointment with you and this day is a day of the appointment with the lord amen the day of the appointment with the lord so we are praising the lord we praise him amen we praise him for having made a way for us to be here today in jesus name lord god we give you all the glory and right now our would like it, I would like just to say to shout it to the person who's sitting next to you and say that the Lord is breaking the cobweb. Would you please just say that he's rupturing the cobweb. He's removing the cobweb. Would you please just to say to somebody, I can already feel it in my spirit that I am I'm already set free from the powers of the cobweb. Already set free from the powers of the witchcraft cobweb. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord. Amen. We need to understand that we are in the end times. Amen. We are living at the end times. This is the time where the enemy, the, the powers of darkness have risen exponentially. So what it means is that then the power of God is, has risen far greater than the powers of darkness. Am I talking to the right people, Nabitunan? Would you please just shout and say that the cobweb spirit Spirit must leave me alone. I think you can do better than that. Would you please just say that I reject the cobweb spirit? Any covenant with the cobweb spirit. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord. Amen. As, as, as I was saying that um, we, we, are, we, are, we are in the end times, all right? We are living right now. If you are still thinking that we're still going to be getting there, we have already got there already got there so what it means is that as a child of god you should not be making the prayers that your grandmother was making you should not be making the prayers that we're making last year amen because the anointing of the last year that the lord gave you last year right now it needs to be refueled amen because right now you are dealing with the demons of 2021 am i talking to the right people you are dealing with the different demons right now you overcame what was in 2020 so now you need now to be refueled now to be re-energized for 2021 so the prayers that you were doing in 2020 now i want you to know that they they have lost the energy and the vigor of the spirit amen so if you are still praying the way that we're praying in 2020 you need to change am i talking to the right people you need to change the challenge with us is that we get so content with where we are. That prayer that you used to do and you saw it being effective in 2010, you are still doing it in 2021. You are so outdated in the spirit. In the realm of the spirit, you are what? So outdated. 
and the demons they are just dancing around you because they are looking at this person who is so outdated amen because in the spirit you the bible says the lord says that we should do what we should take up our cross and do what deny ourselves and do what and follow him so what it means is that there's progress in the kingdom of light amen the lord is expecting us to walk behind him amen is expecting us to progress in the spirit amen so would you please just ask somebody have you progress in the spirit would you please ask have you progress how far are you in your in your in your spiritual growth how far would you please just ask and say how far are you how far are you We need to progress in the spirit. Amen. Because we are meant to grow. Now, the Lord today is teaching us about uh, the cob, the spirit of the cob web. And this is a teaching that I dealt with, but to a certain extent, and that was in 2020 when I dealt with the spirit of the cobweb. So I saw the spirit of the living God just taking me back to the spirit, but now presenting it in a different dimension. Amen. The spirit of the cobweb. And what he was saying to me is that my servants, my servants are caught up in the spirit of the cobweb. They need to understand that the technology that the enemy is using the, the, in the spiritual realm that we are dealing now with the modernized agents of Satan. So we need to understand what they are doing because you cannot fight what you do not know. The war between light and darkness is not going to end because you are fasting. Is not going to end because you are what? You are fasting. You are praying. You are fasting. When you are praying and fasting, you are learning more ways of dealing with the kingdom of darkness. You are not stopping it. So, as people of God, we need to stop praying prayers that says that this war must come to an end. Because you are praying irrelevantly. The war between light and darkness started in the beginning of time. It continued up to the book of Revelation. Even when Jesus Christ was here on earth and being man, being God in man. And the Bible says that he was here not to stop the war. Amen. He was not here to stop the war. He was here to teach us how to deal with the war. So as people of God, we need to stop making these prayers that are embarrassing the throne of God. Amen. Because it's embarrassing the throne of God when you are making that prayer that says that, Oh Lord, would you please, Lord God, as you can see now what they are doing right now, would you please, Lord God, stop the war. The right prayer is, Lord God, strengthen me to have my victory against the kingdom of darkness. Strengthen me, reveal more and more weapons. Because you are born again to unite with the kingdom of the light against the kingdom of darkness. That's the reason that the Lord, that the Lord was knocking at your door and saying that be born again. Am I talking to the right people? That's the reason. Because the Lord wanted to give you righteousness that will draw the line between, between the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness. He was giving you righteousness through the blood so that you are able to throw the punches against the opponent who is Satan. Because I cannot draw the punches against the kingdom of darkness if I'm still defiled. 
So the blood came so that we are sanctified. We are wearing the robes of righteousness and partnering with the kingdom of light against the kingdom of darkness. War is not going to end until the second coming of Christ Jesus. Am I talking to the right people, Nabetuna? Would you please just say that? Would you please stop wasting your time? Stop wasting your time of making prayers that are so irrelevant. Prayers that embarrass Jesus Christ. Because Jesus is like, but, but I gave this person the word. Amen. I taught this person that it is written. What should you be doing when you are faced with the, with the tempter? You say, it is written. Amen. We need to understand this thing. Amen. We need to stop complaining when things are not going right in our lives. Because when things are not going right in our lives, it's an opportunity of growth that is at our doorstep. So it needs then the right spiritual attitude. Amen. Right spiritual acumen to understand as to what is happening right now. That you have stepped into a moment of growth. So the Lord is, 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 has allowed the enemy so that you can get into this classroom so that you can pass and get to the next. Amen. His plan is for his image to come out of us. We want the image of God to be magnified in us. It must come out. Because the Bible says that we were created in the image and after the likeness of God. So what it means is that what God can do, I must be able to do. Amen. When I appear, the demons must take flight. Am I talking to the right people, number two nine? The power of God must begin to manifest in my life. That is the supernatural power of the Lord. So the image of God it comes then to suppress the physical image of man. So that the supernatural image of God can come out. Amen. Everybody who's sitting here, we want that supernatural power. We are suppressing it by disobedience. Change is about us being transformed. Amen. Because the Bible says that we are transformed by the renewing of our mind. So we, we will not get the progression in our lives, the progress in our lives, the growth in our lives without obedience to change. So we refuse to change because change comes with the principle of self-discipline. Change comes with the principle of obedience. So we don't want that. So we'd rather be content with lack of progress in our lives and stay there and embarrass Jesus Christ. Am I talking to the right people number tonight? We are content with who we are. And I think that that, that, is, that is the biggest challenge of the throne of God. It is us being content with the less that we are. According to what the Lord has created us for. You are far greater than who you are right now. According to the plan of God. I am far greater than what the Lord has made me to be, than what I am right now. Am I talking to the right people? So I need then to allow, allow change in my life, allow transformation in my life. Amen. People who progress are the people, are the people who spend more time in the world. 
are the people who have conversations with the Holy Spirit are the people who spend less in the physical and more in the spirit because they understand that every change to manifest success to manifest in our lives it is by us it is by what we have done in the spiritual realm every success that we have had right now you change it in the spiritual realm Am I talking to the right people? You might have forgotten, but there was that time when you were praying and things switched in the spiritual realm to bring you that success. Amen. There is absolutely no success in the physical without, 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 without the spiritual realm. Everything starts in the spiritual realm and manifests in the physical realm. That's the principle. And it will never change. Amen. So we cry and complain that these witches are doing A, B, and C. And the reason that we are complaining is because we don't want to spend time in the spiritual realm. We are content with the physical for as long as I can see it with the naked eye. So I would rather sit here. Amen. But those who are operating in the kingdom of darkness understand the power. That the powers are in the spiritual realm. And for us, the power, singular, is in the spiritual realm. Our strength is in the spiritual realm. Because the image of God manifests in the spiritual realm. There is no physical, there is no image of God that can manifest in the physical realm. You will look and search for the Lord in the physical realm. You will never find him. He is only residing in the spiritual realm. And the reason for that is because he is spirit. Amen. Am I talking to the right people? Number two? God is spirit. And we were created after his likeness. And his likeness is his image and likeness are spirit. Yes. What is making us not to live this truth? What is blocking us from living this truth? Why are we content with the physical? Whereas the physical is the result of the spiritual. We are the spirit beings having a soul and living in the body. And this is what I said last week and I'm repeating it. We will empty the kingdom of Satan should all as humans agree against Satan. Because Satan cannot attack us without the physical body. He does not have it. Satan cannot attack us without humans because humans have the dominion. When he fell, he fell without any dominion. So, we are the ones who got the dominion. As the Bible says that we have the dominion over the fish of the sea. We have the dominion over the fowl of the air. We have the dominion over the earth. All the earth, the four corners of the earth, we have the dominion. So, Satan fell on earth after we have received the dominion. So, we are the bosses of the earth. We are the spiritual bosses of the earth. We can, I am not saying that we are the physical bosses of the earth. I'm saying we are the spiritual bosses of the earth. What is making us 
to be beaten, to lose, it's because we think we are thinking physical everything that we do. What, what we think is physical, what we do is physical. And when we are doing that, we are disconnecting ourselves from the spiritual dominion. This dominion will not manifest for as long as you are seeking it in the physical. Because this dominion came from God who is spirit. And he did that after he had said that, let's make man. Let's make man in our image and after our likeness. And after the creation then, he said that, now they have my image. They have the image of God the planner. They have the image of God god the word they have the image of god the spirit now we can give them the dominion so that we can rule together Amen. am i talking to the right people number two now so we 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 were not he did not give us the dominion before creation he ensured that first he makes us to have his image, spiritual image. So success is in the spirit to manifest in the physical. So if I need to be strong, I need to strengthen myself in the spirit. Amen. If I want to say that God, you are my strengthener, I need to say that in the spiritual realm. Because it will not manifest in the physical realm. For as long as I only say it in the physical realm, I must not say it also in the soul. Because I cannot move God with my soul. I can only move him in the spirit. Am I talking to the right people? So if I'm going to say that, oh Lord, oh my God, things are collapsing in my life and through tantrums, amen. And you think that I'm going to move God with my soul. But the Lord is like, but we are still disconnected because I cannot reach you. I am God, the spirit. Am I talking to the right people number two now? Would you please shout and say that he is spirit? He is spirit. He is spirit. And so are you. It, it, it will be a shame for a person to leave earth still focusing on the physical. Amen. Be a shame. When did you got born again? I got born again. Now it's 30 years that I have been doing this thing. But your thoughts are still physical. Your actions are still physical. You have no connection with your spirit man. Amen. Your spirit man goes to bed starving every night. Why? It's because you are not feeding your spirit man with the word of God. And you are making, you are saying that, oh Lord, oh God, oh my God, oh my God. This is what the people of God do. Oh my God, God is so good. He is so good. He is so good. He is my strengthener. He is my strengthener. When we are greeting other people and the Lord is like, but who, 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 who? Who, who is that one? Because uh, I, I, I think I last met that one before my throne in 2010. And now it's 2021. And we can see you by your prayers. Your prayers that you are making. You are the, the, are the prayers that say that, Oh Lord, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Oh Lord, he's so good. He is good. He is good. And the Lord said that, move on, move on, move on. Move on, move on. Yes, you have praised me right now. But now there's a situation of witchcraft that is in your life. There's a demon, demons that are in your life. Move on, move on, move on. But you are still saying, he's so good. And like, I cannot open my armory without you having asked me to open my armory. Hallelujah. Would you please just 
say to somebody, it will not be opened. The armory of God will not be opened and until you ask why you are the dominion carrier. God says that, this is what he says, he says that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And what it means is that start, then I do. Start binding when I lie on earth as a dominion carrier, carrying my spiritual image. Just start binding here on earth, then I'm going to join you because I'm the God of the covenant. I cannot do anything unless we agree. But I gave you the authority to start so that I agree with you. So if you want to lose anything, he says that, lose it on earth so that it can be loosed in heaven. So what he says is that you are the starting one. Then I follow. Amen. Am I talking to the right people? So it is not right to make that prayer. You know, some of us are making that prayer that says that, Oh Lord, you can see what the enemy is doing. And the Lord said that, I need, I need evidence. Say it, say it. Say it, say it. What is happening? Because I need evidence. Oh Lord. I like what um, King Joseph had when he was praying. Amen. King Joseph had, he said that they are coming. They are all ganging against us. They are coming. They are the sons of Moab. And they are coming against us. And he was talking about the Mob Mobites and the Amorites and saying that they, they, they are coming against us. And saying that, Lord, this is what they are coming here to do. They have come here to take away the land that you have given us as an inheritance. And you are the possessor of the land. Amen. You are the possessor of the land. And the enemy has come to steal what you gave me. It's my inheritance. And you are the one who is the possessor. And the Lord, the Bible says that, and you also said that these are the ones, Lord, that you said to Moses that they must not attack. So right now we do not know what we should be doing right now. And what he was doing right now, he was laying the contract before the Lord. He was laying the obligations before the Lord and saying that you have the, the obligation to possess this land. You are the owner of this land. You have the obligation to protect this land. And you also have the obligation to protect my inheritance. I'm not gonna fight for what is not mine. This is yours. Was laying was laying the terms of the contract. Amen. So the Lord wants us to do that when you are praying. He wants you to lay, 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 lay. Tell him who he is. Amen. Lay it before him. Am I talking to the right people? When I'm praying and there is sickness in my body, the infirmity that is in my body, I have to say to him, but Lord God, is it not you who died for me? Is it not you who said through your servant, I desire that by your stripes I am healed? Amen. And when you are doing, you are telling him the terms of the contract. Amen. The contract of love, the covenant of love. Amen. That you have the obligation to heal me. Amen. Am I talking to the right people number tonight? Oh Lord. Oh Jesus. We need to know how to pray. Say, say to somebody, e, e, de, e, you might be the one who's causing the delay in your life. Amen. <laughs> because you are praying prayers that embarrass the throne of God. Amen. And the Lord is like, and, and your books are open there. And, uh, when, when, when God born again. Uh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. Oh, 20 years ago. Oh, that's embarrassment embarrassment amen 
So many things should have been done. You should be counting now and, and that and that and that and that. Amen. I'm saying that when you are in the plan of God, when you are in the plan of God, amen. Am I talking to the right people, Nabetunan? Standing, you are sitting there and saying that I, 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 I'm waiting upon the Lord. And the Lord is like, to do what? Hi, 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 hi. Don't lie, don't lie. To do what? To do what? Oh, 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 to do what? And the angels are not even ascending to report that what you are saying. Because the angels are like, ah, yeah, yeah. You see, you see, sometimes, you know, I would think to the Holy Spirit and say that, Lord God, oh my God. I don't want my angels to be idle. I don't want to have a yawning angel. Oh, because they are out of work. I'm not sending anything up. Because the angels are doing what they are ascending and descending. They don't descend and ascend. Amen. When Jacob had his head on the rock, the angels were, were, were ascending to descend. Am I talking to the right people? So there are there are angels that are out of business right now. They are like, oh, oh yeah, oh, I, I wish I were you. They are looking at other angels. Oh, don't you need my help? Because here yeah, I'm so idle. They are out of work. They have nothing to send it to the Lord. And even when you are making your prayers, you are making the prayers that have no word. They are like, who, what, what? When you are now praying, uh, the angels are like, wh 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 what is she saying? And the other one is like, I, what? I, what? No, no. Would you please just go closer to, to the mouth? And they are listening, but there is absolutely no word in your prayer. So they are like, I am Vila, I am Vang. And the other one, the angel is asking, but he has been praying for one hour. <laughs> and they are like, what do we do right now? What do we do? Because right now our ears are close to, to the lips. They are telling the one that is next to your lips that go, go closer, closer, closer. There is absolutely no power in this prayer. Because power comes from the word. So a prayer that does not have a word is a useless prayer. What you need to do is to check how David would pray. How David would put his case before the Lord. Even when he has sinned, he will say that I have sinned before your face. Amen. And mention and lay it before the Lord. And go to the forefathers and bring the reference to the Lord and say that this is what you did for so and so. This is how we should be praying. When I'm praying, I need to say that, Lord God, you did it. Before I can say that this battle is not mine, I need to go to the word. Where does it say that? It was King Joseph. It was said to King Joseph. So I'm going to say that you did it for Joseph. You are not the respecter of persons. So you can do it for me. I'm saying, Lord God, this battle is not mine. Because the enemy is attacking your plan in my life. Is attacking what? Your kingdom purpose in my life. I never planned that kingdom purpose. Amen. <laughs> is attacking the works of your hands right now. The enemy is attacking my prayer life, Lord God. Amen. Am I talking to the right people? Am I talking to the right people? This is how we should be praying. Amen. We should be laying our case before the Lord. Amen. 
and not pray and say that, oh Lord, you can see what is happening. The Lord is saying that, but, 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 but here, yeah, they, this, Satan wants to hear because I'm the God of justice here. So when I'm going to be doing it for you, it must be according to justice. Where is the evidence? Give me, tell me. Tell me what is he doing to you? Yes, I'm done with preaching. I'm so done.